Good morning, everybody. I'm starting all the clocks. It's Tuesday. I have a teaching for you. I went to one of my favorite little uh, thrift stores. They were having a 4th of July half off bright sale. Found this nifty lifeguard. I wrote in spiritual. Notice the way I spelled spirit. S P I R dash I T. Spirit. The body is an it. No male or female in the spirit. The, the body of Christ, the church, of which he is the head, and it's the spirit you're born by and united by, is an it. It's a spirit. it. So much for that teaching. Sweet tea and cashew halves. Salted roasted cashew halves. Ooh, yum. Question is... Your condition, check, question. What is your condition? Is it Pauline spiritual? What does that mean? Well, I have Philippians open here. Third chapter. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same thing to you. Paul said in Ephesians, I write, that when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Peter said in 2 Peter, the last chapter, our beloved brother Paul, and the wisdom given him, and some things are hard to understand, and there are those coming in behind Paul, Gnosticism, mixture, worship of angels, superior knowledge, all of that man garbage and uh what was i gonna say what was the point i make sometimes i chase a rabbit so long i forget my point peter said they twist and distort what paul wrote paul said in ephesians 3 i write so when you read you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of christ in that spiritual knowledge spiritual lifeguard Okay, life in Christ. It's no longer faith alone and an invisible bucket of faith. It's faith in. Question mark. Faith in what? Faith in Christ anointing. Paul said, I come to see your anointing power when you teach and preach. If you're teaching and preaching the truth of the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth bears witness. Signs and wonders. And you feel the anointing of the speaker or the teacher. If you're born of the Spirit. If you don't have Christ in you and you're not born of the Spirit, you can hear an anointed teacher and not feel the anointing. But when you're quickened and made alive, your condition is spiritual. That was my original question. What is your condition? In fact, on my 1997 Contemporary Gospel CD of original songs that I wrote, Play bass, sang, sang harmony on. The very first song is titled, It's a Heart Condition, My Friend, in this kind of country. I, I made a variety CD. There's Junior Walker, uh, alto sax, there's R&B, there's rock and roll, there's Jimmy Buffett, there's ballads, there's even jazz guitar, acoustic guitar, harmonica, you name it. Every song is different. I didn't try to make a musical theme. I did a variety. None of the songs musically appear, appeal to the church. I made it to appeal to the world, draw the world, and then they're exposed to truthful lyrics. So I was trying to be like a modern-day David and write contemporary gospel songs that have the spiritual truth of the New Testament in them with a worldly flavored music. Bass lines, for instance, I've, I've got one in there, uh, New Song, New Love, and I took the bass line from a B-side of Sam and Dave called You Don't Know Like I Know. Da -da, da -da -da -da, da -da, da -da -da -da. It's got a nice groove, and it will draw the world. And then, New Song, New Love, A Better Way. 
used to be a soul man, used to be a blues man, used to be a rock man, used to be a country man, dancing the two, two step in circles. But now I've found a new love, a new song. And that's a little ditty song I wrote to sing to the world. And it's on my uh, contemporary gospel CD of 10 songs. And the name of the CD is, it's a heart condition, my friend. So what is your condition? Are you Pauline? What does that mean? Paul says, follow me as I follow Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ in his human image is our number one supreme example. He's our savior. The Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our savior. And El Father raised him from the dead by his glory power, that I might know him in the power of his resurrection. That's what Philippians, the third chapter is all about. Where I stopped and didn't finish, I was going to get to lifeguard, spiritual lifeguard. That's what I am. I'm wearing red for YouTube. YouTube's color is red. They like red, so they should like my new hat. Spiritual lifeguard, YouTube. And I'm wearing a red shirt. And I've got my icon that looks like a cross and isn't. It's got eight blue stones on it. New beginnings, a spiritual number. New beginnings. I'm just, this is a shotgun blast. This is a hand grenade throw. I'm just hitting stuff in all directions here. i got to have a second drink of tea. I think I'll put it down now so I can flip some pages here. Got to finish off my cashews. Cashew halves. Roasted and salted, mmm, yum, along with dates, lemons, magnesium. Magnesium is one of the things in your body that helps take away, works with the liver, and helps take away things your body doesn't need or doesn't know what to do with. So you may be lacking magnesium when you need magnesium. So another little gold nugget. Let me finish reading Philippians, the third chapter, the first verse. Finally, my brother, and rejoice in the Lord. Call Jesus Lord. Give him his deity. Lord Jesus or Christ Jesus. Never the word Jesus, the name Jesus by itself. Give him his deity. Lord Jesus, to write the same thing to you to me, indeed, is not grievous. Paul saying it's not grievous to me to write the same thing. But to you, it is a safe, in King James, and it's a safeguard, a spiritual lifeguard. Guard your heart, mind. Guard your spirit, soul. Guard your conscience. Guard your free will. Guard your emotions. Guard your memories. But forgetting those things, you got to forget half your memories, your old nature memories, and go on in the new. New part two, the second, is better with better promises. I'm the new part two teacher. Eight minutes, 25 seconds. All right. Uh, the two letters, you're to start reading if you're going to safeguard yourself, be a lifeguard and safeguard yourself what you were just told to do, and that's why Paul wrote. So when you read, you find that here in, uh, I'll read the first four verses of the middle of Ephesians. That's where you're to start. You read chapter three of Ephesians, and it secures your understanding that this letter is to Gentiles, to you and I, to nations, plural, not to Israelite Jews. It's to Gentiles, you and I. For this cause or reason, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, Christ Jesus or Lord Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation, the better word is stewardship. Uh, 1 Corinthians 4th chapter, stewards of the mysteries. Of the grace of God, which was given unto me or given me to you word. I'm reading King James 1611. How that by revelation, spiritual illumination, revelation. Uh, no, knowledge is illumination. Revelation is spiritual. He made known unto me the mystery, whereas I wrote 
in a few words, so when you read, or when ye read, ye may understand, spiritual understanding, my knowledge, spiritual knowledge, in the mystery of Christ. Faith in, in what? In Christ, the anointing. So there's the above spiritual understanding, there's the below, the Lord Jesus Christ in his human flesh, natural body. Our Savior came in the flesh. He didn't come as a spirit or angelic. He came as a human being like us. Tempted always, yet without sin, the only perfect human being to walk the face of the earth was the Son of God. Tempted always, yet without sin. Think about that one. <laughs> tempted in all ways? Was he ever tempted by a prostitute? The scripture said he was tempted in all ways. All right. Just a thought. But he knew how to overcome. He had the glory power of the spirit word within him. He could draw on that and not give in to the flesh. It's about self-control. Faithfulness, not just faith. Faith in Christ and faithfulness consistency. All right. I am Eugene Bear on YouTube. I am wearing red, YouTube's favorite color. I hope they use this teaching. Lifeguard, spiritual lifeguard, life in Christ. And I can teach you spiritual truth, teach you how to find it. I have three mechanical tools, and then one is the witness of the spirit, peace within. Three mechanical and one spiritual. Truth is found in repetition and consistency in Scripture. Two, three, four verses of Scripture saying the same thing. I am the spirit teacher. I am the truth teacher. God's elect, chosen, and placed teacher for the next 10 years. From my age of 74 to 84. I'm going to be around. Bye.